Joe. Joe Hills says, Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am joined today by the single-toothed but the many-hearted generic bee. And together, we are going to embrace the spirit of Halloween that resides in each of his many monstrous hearts. His incredible, overwhelming passion for the holiday is about to happen all over this house. So, what are you thinking, generic bee? Whoa. I have, I have many hearts. Am I like an uh, earthworm? Yeah, or a, or a cow. They have like four hearts that their food passes through. That's stomachs, dude. No, that's not. You're making that up. Okay, so <laughs> have you seen my general spookification of the town? Yes. So let's, let's take a quick run through and check this out. Because... Make it super quick. Yep, super quick. I know. This is Joe's place, and it is so creepified. It's awesome. I love it. It's all like... You've picked, you've, you've picked pretty much every single uh, block that's creepy, and mushed it all together. In this, and this is like all creepy quilt. I love it. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people were like, "You should do mycelium for it," and it's like, "Well, that's hard to get. I have to get the silk touch." So for this one, I just kind of yeah quilted it. Although for the other yards that I did, I just put in the mycelium and uh, whatnot. I'm particularly get... proud of this grave right here. This is, I think, the oh. best thing that I did. Let me see. Huh? Right over here. This, oh, this guy? Yeah, this. It's just, it's so simple. It's uh, six soul sand and two cobblestone fences. Oh, but, it's perfect. Yeah, no, it just works, right? So, and then I redid the signboard too, because all those jokes were getting old, and I figured it'd oh, be good yeah. to have new stuff. Now we got new jokes, like, why didn't the ghost go to the ball? Because ghosts scare people and don't go to stupid balls. <laughs> Pretty simple. Well, yuck, yuck. <laughs> oh, I think it's funny. I think oh. those spiders only have eyes for you, apparently. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, that's a little weird. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back to your place where it's normal for a second. And... Yeah, right. Yeah, because okay. then we go back here. Now, this See, place... This is... Yeah, it's too cheery, dude. Okay, you know what this this reminds me of? This reminds me of Cornwall, which is an area in England where people build houses near the sea. Yes. And what it doesn't remind me of is Halloween. It's no, not Cornwallowween over here. It's just Cornwall. Cornwallowween, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and we need to Cornwallowween it up. Yes. Let's try not to get too Cornwally on these jokes. <laughs> Corny wall. Yes, too corny wall. So, okay, the easiest <laughs> yes. place to start, just to kind of set the right mood, okay. would be uh, I can start laying my psyllium around here okay. to just kind of make the turf feel more Halloween-y as we work. Um, however, you know, as fun as that can be, oh, mm -hmm. I'm doing a horrible job already. I'm just digging out the wrong blocks. Oh, look at you, silk touch shovel. Yeah. Well, because I, I need to be able to... Um, replace everything that I tear out. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. And, uh, cause yeah, I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is Halloweenify everything or spookify everything for right now. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going to make it like generally autumnal, um, until, uh, Advent starts and then I'll make it everything Christmassy or at least my place. Um, and then we leave it until like July. Yeah. And then, and then we'll have like our 4th of July Joe Hill spectacular where I just light everything on fireworks. Oh, perfect. I love it. It's perfect crime. Yeah, I, I had a bunch of noise-making doors and just set fires everywhere. And then <laughs> the doors blow up because I put TNT underneath some of the fires. We'll get Dinner Bone to... Uh... Oh, here, I'll pick up. What was that? I think that you need to stop opening and closing that door, Generic B. That wasn't me. I'm not sure. What, what you're, door? You're kind of trolly. <laughs> <laughs> you are known as the trolliest of hermits. I, you know, I have been known, but that, that wasn't me. I don't know what that deal was. Extra dirt here. All right, I'm going to okay, tear that, Yeah, see, here you are. You're like, let me put extra dirt in your way. Yeah, so uh, I was thinking that essentially with my house, one thing I did was I essentially made everything one shade darker. So if something was already oh. pretty dark, I made oh. it the darkest. But if it was already pretty light, I might have made it like jungle wood, which is still rosier. No, uh -huh. it's not necessarily so. Like for example, this birch wood here, you might put in jungle wood instead, or um, like on the uh, wool here, I brought a uh -huh. uh, red, orange, and I think I have some yellow wool back in my house. 
But, you oh, know, you're smart. Okay. So we could replace the wool with other wool. Um, uh-huh. Like for my house, and you don't have to do everything I did. I'm just kind of walking you no, through I, my thought I process. love yours, dude. I want to. I want to have a Joe Hill's boathouse. So, um, what I did for the glass here was I replaced it all with iron. If that makes sense. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, and so you know that way you got the grate here as well, but it's iron now instead of. Oh, and I got some iron. I got some iron bars. Awesome. So yeah, Look you can me. just throw those together. Um. Wow, I need to be actually picking up all this grass and stuff before it despawns, because that'll be a problem. <laughs> well, don't worry, man. We got grass. Oh, I, I, I guess grass it, regrows eventually, but... It looks so ugly, too, man. It's awesome. <laughs> it looks so ugly. Yes, that's what we're yeah. going for. Yep. We want everything to be horrifyingly ugly. We want no one to want to play on this server anymore. That's, yeah, yep. That's, <laughs> that's how you can tell you did it right. <laughs> it's going to be so bad mm -hmm. that we're going we're gonna to have to just re-roll the whole map. Oh, don't don't get no. We are not even gonna joke about rerolling the map. <laughs> Can you imagine, like Biffa? Biffa Dang would be it. gutted, man, if we just sat there and said, "Oops," if we said, "Yep, no, nah, we gotta reroll." Sorry, Biffa. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna rebowl the map though. Yeah, just so just we're gonna area. MC edit your bowl into everybody's uh, new house on the new map. Everybody gets a Biffa bowl. <laughs> Everybody, and then he's not special anymore. Yeah. Hey, Biff, I know you spent a lot of time on this special thing. Let's uh, take that away from you. Yep. Oh, wait, I did too many. So you've got some cobblestone in here, and one thing I was thinking about that was to replace it with mossy Ooh. cobble, but Points. I'm not sure if that would be better to just kind of um, checker it. Not like checkerboard it, but just kind of have it like, mixed together. Yeah, you know? splash it around. I like it. I technically have enough mossy cobble with me for every single one of your blocks, but like, I feel oh, like yeah. mossy cobble, when it's by itself, gets a little bit... Um, Yes. Yeah, you know what I mean? You got to, like, use it sparingly. Yes, it's like vinegar, you know? You oh, pour that dude. in there with a little bit of dish soap and a gallon of water, and then you have yourself a dude. good mopping solution. Look, look, look. Yeah, I put that there. You did? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, that's cool, though, man. I like that. So, let's see. I'm coming up here, and, uh, yeah, we should get heads to put on all the posts. Oh, yeah, let's get right on that. Yeah, those only take forever to freaking uh -huh. get. Um, okay, so, let's see. I'm thinking, yeah, if we replace the dark blue with the red on the wool, is that uh, logical to you? Yeah, I think so. And I'm glad you have the appropriate tools, because I sure don't. <laughs> yeah, I've only been, this is my fifth or sixth video where I'm actually just spookifying stuff. Uh -huh. And so by this point, is that dang it. I think uh, I think that's King Daddy D Max noisemaker. Oh. I put one up in his attic, um, so that way because oh that's the other thing is Hypno when he built that place, um, uh -huh. he he has this creepy attic, and so I put some corpses up there in a noisemaker. <laughs> some old, the old man attic, the old attic of of uh what was that. what was that stinking uh haunted movie the house on Am Amity no. No, you're, How's that go? you're thinking of the Miracle on 29th Street. <laughs> That's it. No, it's actually, wait, is it? No, it's Am the Miracle on 34th Street, and then the other movie is 29th Street. Oh, Generic B, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. Have you uh -huh. seen 29th Street? 21 Jump Street? No, 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 29th Street. There's all these spider eyes no. everywhere, dude. <sighs> no, That's what is that? probably because you keep slaying Spider-Man. 29th Street is the best mob movie of all time. It is based on a true story, and uh -huh. it is, um... Heck, man. The, okay, so, it's a story about the, uh, guy... Okay, the first New York lottery ever, um, was, um, uh, like, I don't know, it was, like, back in the 60s or whatever. Um, uh -huh. but the guy who, um, the guy who bought the winning ticket, uh, had all this... In his dad had a bunch of involvement with the mob and owed all this money and stuff. And uh, it, it's a crazy good movie, um, but it's actually based on a true story. And uh, it's also a holiday movie because um, the thing, um, the, I think they did the drawing for the first um, New York lottery like at 12.01 a.m. on New Year's because it was like, um, uh, you know, one of those laws that they passed where it's like, okay, well, as of 12.01 a.m. on the first of this year, you know, this shall be the case, that sort of thing. 
Um, uh-huh. But it's super funny and it's actually really interesting. I don't. Sorry, we just started talking. I can't like not talk <laughs> about this movie once it comes up. It's just such a good movie. No, I'm serious. It is the best mob movie ever made. It is. Um, I've never even heard of it. No, it's it's one of those things. Um, well, my dad it was like a lot of people give me all this crap because um, I was born in New Jersey, and they're like, oh my gosh, he was born in New Jersey. It's like, well, duh, I've told people that. My parents are both from New Jersey. My grandparents all lived there until they died. You know, I only lived there for like 10 months as a small, small baby, but I mean, you know, that's my heritage, fine. But um, anyway, it, heritage. It, it is. <laughs> my ancestral homeland of New Jersey. Yeah, but uh, I was going to say... Um, but yeah, it's the movie is super popular uh, up there, and um, it's one of those things where, like a lot of uh, my dad, kind of grew up in one of those neighborhoods where there were a lot of people with um, those sorts of connections, and uh, so yeah, yeah, that was how he heard of the film. But okay. it's really good, and I strongly recommend you check it out. Huh? I I will. I, <laughs> you you <know>. better. <laughs> well, you know all. Oh, Dude, this uh, weather boss you're doing is awesome up here. Oh, um, I don't... Let me check on that. Okay, <laughs> I need to use an interpol to move up four blocks. <laughs> okay, Th- whoa. This is cool. Yeah, it's nearly done. Let me just slap that other head on top. <laughs> oh, no, I did it wrong. <laughs> it's, it's a grass head. I actually kind of like that. Hold on. Or no, oh, wait. Wait, wait. I have a pumpkin. I have a pumpkin. Better. I, I went up to you. And then, wait. Oh, now but you can, I can't oh, put a pumpkin. You can't put a pumpkin on, on a fence? No, it's stupid. Oh, that is lame. Stupid how that works. So let's Hold try on. this again. And there we go. Yay. Perfect. I don't think that's <laughs> quite perfect. It works great. I love it. It's close. Oh, we should probably, you know, illuminate things, actually. With, uh, like, uh. With, like, lights. Oh, that's, that's the best type of illumination. Yes, as opposed to the illumination where we just ignore problems until they come kill us. <laughs> Who, Which, us, never. Oh, you know, I've never so, heard of anyone doing that. So what do you think? I, I put these and I hate them, these little... Uh, what What do you think about instead... Is that you? Uh, No, that is not me. I think the chest is trying to eat you. You should probably... Well, I'm in the water. <laughs> You got rid of part of this railing already. I did? I think so. I don't know. I wasn't prepared for it. Cycle. Oh, no. Maybe that railing just ends there. Now I'm really in the water. What do you think? Instead of this light blue? Because you did did the red wool for the... Yeah, for the dark blue. For the dark blue. What if Oh, that's way creepier. I like it. Yeah? You like that? Yes. All right. Because I didn't didn't like the thing. You want netherrack for the... Yeah, that could work. I was thinking too. I've got um, I've got orange wool. If you wanted to use that where the white is, yes, because yes. that's about or- as light as we probably want to go while still like, because I'm not necessarily going for like all out haunted. No, um, just, but just, just spooky, a more evil. Yeah. Well, not even evil, but just spookier. I want it to feel Halloweenish. I want it to be in season, if you will. It's like, what are we hunting? Halloween. Why? Because it's that time of year. <laughs> well, he's going Halloween hunting. Where's it going? I don't know. Why did I say that? That doesn't make grammatical sense. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So I that I got that so goes. So you can come out here. You know, it'd be so cool if we had dark wood. Uh, what you call it? Uh, like waffles, dark wood waffles. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. I'm going to go ahead and start replacing some of the fence in here. Oh, you're going to replace it with the nether fence? Nether fence. fence. That's the easiest thing to replace it with because yep. it still looks... You, you maintain the shape and structure. Yeah, that works. All right, I'm going to go back. Okay. Why did you turn this around, dude? Turn what around? This uh, wither boss. Um, I don't know change of pace is he in timeout <laughs> he's in, in timeout yeah nobody <laughs> puts wither in the corner nobody puts wither. In the... should i do uh instead of these upside down stairs like that should i put them in the well in the darker wood i, yeah, I, I ran out say, of, i, I brought, didn't have jungle wood hold on i got uh here's a stack of spruce logs for you to pick up 
on okay, the ground. Cool. They're directly behind I... you. Okay, hold on. Blink, block. Did I get them? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Cool. I'm just going to add some additional torches here. Yeah, and I should do some stairs, right? Yeah, that would be good. Um, so, yeah, now you have enough spruce to make the stairs. So where was I? I was fencing everything properly. Everything that was a fence is now a differently shaped fence. Or no, a differently shaded fence. <laughs> and you have the nether rack to redo the um, the light blue. I didn't bring nether rack. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got tons. Because I actually didn't tons. use any nether rack in uh, any of my other constructions. Um, what is up with all these spider eyes, dude? It's probably all the spiders you keep killing with your Medusa gaze. Stop being so <laughs> ugly, generic B. <laughs> Grow an extra tooth. My Medusa gaze. Your your ma one tooth gaze. Your matoothless gaze. Matooth. Oh wait, is there not a fence on this level originally? Um. Or is there I, something weird that I'm missing with this? Um, you know, I. I, I this is why crap. usually when I do this, I like replace something and immediately like I I break it and immediately replace it because I forget. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I think huh. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna replace these um these cobble with uh, mossy cobble. Oh, that'd be nice. Now, okay, you've got these um, shoring um, planks or whatever, uh, these fence posts that you use to shore oh. things up. Um, I don't know that I oh. love that because of the whole, like, water glitch thing. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, well, I was like almost thinking, do you want me to just use a uh, mossy cobble or normal? I, I can use a combination of uh, cobble on this. Yeah, give it a and, try. Uh, Kind of like a pylon, right? Or yeah, well, whatever. yeah, it would look like a concrete pylon. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Cool. And it's real easy because I just stand in the lowest one and replace the next few here. And then what? Oh, I need to make some more stuff here. Okay, so making sure that I... Whoa, that's a flow. Dang it, I've accidentally created a water flow. Oh. And so now I'm, like, trapped inside of... Okay, let's not drown. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Small victories. If I, I'm like, I'm gonna drown ten feet away from my house. This is this is how this is gonna happen. The heck is going on, man? With There's what? bones for days. Well, you know, you don't want to just have one day's worth of bones. <laughs> you want to have whole. You want to have several days worth of bones. Get eight for backup. Yes, just in case. For a bony day? No, it's not even smart. Save it for a rain. Save it for a boneless chicken day? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we, yeah, there, there was nothing to be done with that joke. Nope, nope. Okay. But every time I do something, and then there's, like, stuff to take up my inventory, which drives me nuts. Mm -hmm. And so now every time I swap out something, I've got an inventory full of spider eyes and bones. That's probably a portent. Did you anger any gods, particularly the Hebrew one, or maybe one of the Egyptian ones? <laughs> Perhaps, man. You know, I, you may have, you may have angered. Oh wait, what have I done over here? I you don't may know, have what angered have something. Why is it always me making people angry? You know, uh, just because. Well, I mean, I'm the, oh. I'm the beautiful one. How could I make people angry? I, I don't you're, understand, generic me. You're the beautiful one? <laughs> yeah. Is that how is that how that goes? That's how that world? goes. <laughs> oh man. man. If we were to create like a, a some kind of boy band, you would be the beautiful one. Oh yeah. Oh man, speaking of uh okay, so I don't know if you've seen Milby's streams where he wears those ludicrous V necks. Yes. So yes. on my stream today. Um, I, t I had a button-down shirt on, and I unbuttoned it all the way to, like, one button left. And I'm like, I out v necked you, Milby. Boom. Oh, man. And uh, so then he's just like, um, it, we, he, I forget how we got onto it, but we were, you know, making V-related humor. And he's like, we need to make a VHS uh, board game like they had back in the 80s. And, oh, I love those things. And I realized we could actually do it with YouTube. And so what we're going to do is, once I'm done with Pitfalls and Penguins, I'm going to make a basic board game thing, because I'm a graphic designer. I can throw together a quick board game concept with essentially a map from Nashville to uh, Cardiff, which is like uh -huh. the capital of Wales. I don't know if he lives there or not, but that's the only place I know of in Wales. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all anybody lives in in Wales. It's just that one town. It's just right? in Cardiff. Yeah. Yep. So so then um so yeah we'll we'll make a thing where we essentially get on Skype and uh, record our video stuff um for like an hour where we're just occasionally yelling things like go back three spaces if your name starts with a J. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so funny. I know, right? I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get to this project. I'm surprised nobody's thought of that. I know, and I like it's one of those things. Like I've already, we've already talked about it in public for the for that. Dude, um, so I don't feel like I'm like exposing the secret in advance. Since I'm hoping that people. Oh, hey, do you want me to get um vines to replace your ladders with? Yeah. Because yes. like I tried it with the ladders originally on my house, and the vines just look so much better. I could have sworn I. Uh. I could have sworn I I already did these blue wools and now they're back. Um, you probably I, did the other blue wool. Do you know how much blue wool is in this place? Yeah, secretly a whole bunch, pro right? Pro tip a lot. Yes. Yeah, pro tip. A, no. Pro tip too much. Now wait a minute. No. Okay, let me get rid of some of this nether brick. Hold on, I'm I'm inventorian. It's the end of the month. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. What are you a library? Well, I don't know, uh, or or any place that has parts, like a mm -hmm. car factory. Um, oh, what was I? What did I come in here to get? Oh yeah, vines. Vines. You're gonna get vines. I was gonna get vines. Hey Joe, get vines. I'm getting vines, engineer. But I'm probably not. I'm just gonna have to take them off of my house with the shears because I, I maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't actually have any left. They grow back. No, I, I know it's fine. Luckily, I got the shears, so. Let me uh, just get that started then. Oh, you know what I'll do is I'll take them off of the um, outside parts here. So that's fine. I wish I could get fortune shears. Oh, that'd be cool, right? Or looting shears. I don't know which that would be. <laughs> the, whichever one is the good one. Hmm. Silk, silk touch shears. No. no you would that, need that's you would already... want fortune. Yeah, it's already silk touch, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's, that's the point of the shears. That's what they do. <laughs> I wish, and you know what? I honestly think that we should get. Oh, do you have red wool? Yeah, I need I have, red, yeah, red and red. orange. Okay, yeah, I've got red and orange. Oh, there you are. Yep, Here, let me uh, toss you. Here's half of my orange and half of my red, and I can follow your lead. Um, okay. With whatever you're doing. I just need. I'm just replacing blocks like you were doing. Is there a preferable tool for like destroying ladders? You know what? For the sake of the viewers at home. I'm mm -hmm. just going to make a guess, and I'm going to say Unenchanted Nether Wart. There we go. Look at how that's going. That's going well. Do it rip through it. Boom. I'm just, wow, this is the best way to break ladders ever. <laughs> Thirsty? Yep. Always. Got my trusty, uh... Oh, wait, I can't mention brands, although it's not a real product placement, I guess, if they're not paying me. But no. I actually... Okay, Generic B, this is something kind of weird... I don't know, uh -huh. it's kind of shop talky, so if you're not comfortable with the subject, we don't have to discuss it. Okay. But Okay. So when a company doesn't pay me money to talk yeah. good about their product. Yes. I don't necessarily want to mention their product at all. Because I feel like, for example, if I said, Oh, I use this operating system, well, that's not necessarily the best operating system for all of my viewers, right? So mm -hmm. I don't want to give the impression that I'm saying, oh, what I use is what everyone should use. And any sort of saying that I do something is does come across as an endorsement. Oh, sure. You know what yep. I'm saying? Now, okay, right. if I got mailed a crate full of, um, of Red Bull every yes. month. Like, you know, uh, um, I don't want to go too much into it, but earlier we were talking about my stomach problems. And mm -hmm. for some reason, I can't digest most energy drinks. The only ones that actually work with my stomach are Red Bull. Now, once again, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Red Bull to everyone because it's not that it's the best for everyone. It's the best oh. for me. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. But like, if Red Bull sent me a crate of Red Bull every month, I'd totally be like, oh yeah, Red Bull, it's the best for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you now, know? don't. Don't you feel, though, wait a minute, did we, don't you feel, I think, I think I screwed up. Is there supposed you... to be a door in this? I, I don't, That's what I thought. Too. I don't I remember the original it. diagram enough. I, I put one, I made one up here. Okay. Now, don't you think, though, that if you truly do like a product, mm -hmm. regardless of if you're getting paid or not, 
that that is enough for you to let other people know that you like it so they can try it too. Well, that's the thing is there's a certain cost value ratio point mm -hmm. where if I have such a incredible experience with something that is so far beyond what I paid for it, I would feel comfortable, you know, endorsing it possibly. And if it's an experience, like, for example, let's say that I went to play on con yes. and I had a fun time, which I've been doing for four years now. Yeah. I will tell everyone and their friends, go to play on con. It is awesome. Come meet me. Experiences, I'm all for. Even if it's a company like PAX, you know, go to PAX East. Come see me. It's awesome. That sort of thing. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. But like, yeah, if it's just like, if people are like, hey, what kind of toothpaste do you use? I, <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but but I, it's not a product that you are in love with enough that you deem it's pertinent enough that you would actually go, oh, oh I almost fell. Yeah, that, don't do that. Oh, oh I did fall. <laughs> Good job. The, <laughs> I, I like how go, we turned that around. Yeah. That you would go, you know what? I got to... I got to tell people about it. I got to shout this out on the mountaintops. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and and that's one of those things, though, too, where people ask me a lot of times. Now, where this gets kind of weird is about software, uh -huh. because people say, what operating system should I use to record or what editing software should I use? And it's like, oh, yeah. I hate the operating system that I use to record. I hate the editing software that I use right now. So I don't even want to tell people which of those I'm using because some people will take that as a tacit endorsement to go buy the one I'm on. But uh, no, I also that's true. I don't want to answer the question and then say, okay, I use this, but I'm going to complain about it for eight minutes now to say why you shouldn't buy it. I'd rather just not talk about it than complain about it for eight minutes. To like, I use free fraps. You know, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where like, I, I'll just ignore the question, which makes me feel kind of like a jerk. But at the same time, if I get upset talking about the things I hate about the software, I don't want to, I'm not going to put myself into a bad place mentally just so I can answer someone's question about, like, what operating system is recommended. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I, oh, is this Isma's? I was just, huh. are you talking about chopping into this? No, no, no. I, it, I thought oh, you were trying dude. to stop me. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it's, it's... cool. The heads float? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Hey! Hey! Wait! Wait! Oh, wait! Wait! No, no! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Oh! Uh -huh. Dang it! I was gonna say, who am I? And I was gonna get inside of it. I know that's what I was trying to do too. <laughs> okay! Hold on! Hold on! Let's. Oh, of course, now wooden half slabs don't get broken. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's it's a solid. Yeah, it's a solid. That's. I was sitting there too. I was trying to jump in it. You know what would be really cool is if you could use these skulls. You see how it's hollow here. Uh -huh, if you uh -huh. could use it as a potion bottle. Ooh. And it would give it some sort of additional, like, enchantment or something. Or or additional yeah. potency. Oh, right? that'd be awesome, dude. Can so, you like, imagine? Yeah, and, like, the thing is, I guess if it was a, a throne bottle, it would, like, smash the skull. But it would do, like, three times as much damage or more range or like a farther. Like a legit, like, hand grenade. Yeah, it would be like a serious hand grenade. Um. So, wait, let's see. What have we... Not done. Let me. Let you me... know, I think we're about jammed it out. It definitely looks creepy. I mean, we got a little bit, little bit on the bottom, mm -hmm. you know, for that dock. But ooh. oh, oh, oh that yeah, yeah. Let's me. get let's get the lower dock here. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, oh, and there's these fence posts that need to go as well. Yep. And uh, oh, I guess and... I can mycelium up over here. Okay, so there's still plenty to do. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. But yeah, like. Oh, crap, I hate you want to do that. But I guess it's one of those things where, like, um, yeah, so, so so sometimes I just don't answer questions about things that are kind of weird endorsement stuff. And I don't know. I was just kind of... it. Well, you know, I get a bajillion requests a day from people asking me what software I use. Mm -hmm. And and I get what you're where you're coming from because... You know, especially if it's one that isn't great, you know, but usually what I do is I, I'll tell them and I'll go, here's what I use, but it sucks or whatever. Yeah. Because I use, I use DX Story mm -hmm. for, for recording and I like it, but it's got, it's got its down faults. Mm -hmm. So is, so is Fraps, so is everything else. What are you throwing over there, dude? Uh, party. 
We want to party. Sorry, neighbor. I should have invited you. <laughs> That's not very neighborly of you. Oh, no. I have placed a wool block in my own face rather than there. I have fixed it. <laughs> Um, uh, my, my stories are short, but to the point. I tell you, we I'm going to be the envy of the neighborhood. I'm going to be the envy of the boat club. Oh, yeah, the, the whole yacht club will wish they had a generic bee house. Yeah, totally. I talked Look to Isima and, uh, about Spookify and his house, and he says uh, he's going to like try and be more creative with it maybe try and think of like essentially costume his existing house rather than just like make it spookier is he going to like do like uh like your mom used to do back when you know times were tough and just like cut holes in a sheet oh okay actually generic bee i thought about doing that for the um pumpkin and watermelon farms just getting a whole bunch of snow blocks or white wool snow blocks yes. would probably be easier uh-huh. and just putting um Putting coal blocks, or no, maybe not coal blocks. Uh, I guess obsidian for the eyes or something. Like, and just having that whole thing have just a, a spooky white sheet Pac-Man ghost over it. That's a good idea. Um, why am I throw? I'm switching to my torches in the inventory and then throwing them on the ground instead of like doing what I meant to do, which is <laughs> anything but that. That is anything. <laughs> that is the opposite of helping. You know what I I don't understand? Sometimes, like when I'm in a crafting bench, Mm -hmm. I will throw my, like, chest plate. You throw your chest plate? Yeah, and I'm wearing it. I don't even know what hotkey would ever even do that, but somehow it does. Is that some sort of weird mod (laughs) thing? Because I've never heard of that happening, actually. Uh, no. That's just generic bee's life. Yeah, it's just my, welcome to my life, man. Oh, these are the old half slabs. This is such an old house. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yep. It just says wooden slab. That means they don't catch on fire. Yep. Oh, man, we should put these on eBay. <laughs> we could make a, a tidy sum. We, we sure could, man. We can, Oh, oh. Am I? Are we allowed to talk about the project in the nether, or is that for a future episode? Oh, the bizarre thing? Yeah. Oh, and we I can guess totally we can. talk about that. Dude, I should sell my vintage half slabs reclaim from the boat mm-hmm. did i oh did you finish this yeah i've got um 16 of those i can put them down in your chest oh no i got some oh no i mean if you're gonna sell them later you're gonna want all of them oh yeah yeah, yeah. so um yes guaranteed not to catch on fire mm-hmm. that's got potential dude yeah uh... i could be quite the entrepreneur Dang it, I keep throwing things on the ground when I don't mean to. Okay. I, I, man, I did not design this house so great, I gotta say. Well, I'll be honest, Generic B, you didn't design this house, the one that you gave me, so great either. <laughs> you gave me a great start in life, but it was only that. But that's good, though. Like, you don't want to be one of those... It's, <coughs> sorry. It's like those parents that give their kids literally everything. There's there's nothing that they need or want, and then they never you know push themselves. But you gave me just enough of a house that I was sheltered from the storm, but not Uh so much of one that I would never, you know, go out there on my own. Right, right. Just just enough, like like a five... What was that? And why do I have a fence gate? Where did a fence gate come from? Oh, I don't know. The stork? (laughs) (laughs) Daddy Joe Hills... Where do fence gates come from? Yeah. Oh, man. That that was, um... There, there's this show that almost no one has ever heard of or watched called Little Mosque, um, or Little Mosque on the Prairie. And it's a show from Canada about a town with a population of, like, 20,000 people where a mosque opens up. And, like, how all the prairie Canadians are, like, backwards and, and, and don't can't deal with this mosque in their community. And it's really funny because they're not American, they're Canadian. And so they should be better at things like culture, but they're not. Um, but anyway. Uh, Are yeah, they what it, angry but really polite about it? Yeah, kind of. But some of, but yeah, it's not always. Um, because the, the, the thing is, though, too, like the, um, they're Canadian hicks, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's this weird thing because you never see Canadian hicks in culture. Like they're not in that Scott Pilgrim movie. No. Uh-uh. No. There is no Scott Pilgrim Canadian hicks. But anyway, 
<laughs> um, so yeah, one of my favorite jokes from that whole show is um, they they're gonna buy this uh, land and put a new mosque there, and uh, somebody's like, "Oh no, a, a dead body was uh, found there." It's like, "Uh oh, we can't buy it now. There'll be ghosts." And it's like, "Well, you know, ghosts don't necessarily come from dead bodies." And somebody else goes, "Well, where do you think they come from? The stork?" <laughs> And I'm just like, I never <laughs> thought of the idea of ghosts coming from the stork before. <laughs> but it's so brilliant. It's it's so, it just Can works. You, oh, hey, phone that is, you know, it, the people who call me on this phone never want to talk to me. Really? Yep. It's not real people. It's just like um, those machine things. Yeah, like, it's just machines. Mr. B, how do you feel about voting for, I don't know, John Kerry in the upcoming 2004 election? <laughs> exactly. And you're like, what? I think this is good, dude. I think we nailed it. Okay, I'm just kind of going out here and uh, grassing it up or whatever Ooh. a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I, I'm, I'm removing the dirt under the tree so I can plant my psyllium there. That will inevitably die. Great plan on... Oh. Frick! What? Uh, Is there a creeper or something? I think we, yeah, I think there's a creeper, and his name is some, who's on the server? I just got hit by a hit somewhere. So, hmm. should we go inside? Haunted boat house. Oh, wait, yeah, let's let's run into the haunted boat house. Oh, <laughs> actually, generic, hold on, hold on. Actually, I had this great idea, actually, that I forgot to mention. So, you know how you have that little room down there? Yeah, uh-huh. Right? So, here's what I was thinking you should do with this little room. Come on down here. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Okay, so are you familiar with the Edgar Allan Poe story, The Cast of Amontillado? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, I'm thinking what we should do is wall this up with bricks. Yes! Isn't that like creepy awesome so you just stay in there and i will just brick over all of this hey <laughs> no i i hear a lot of block placing i have a lot of bricks <laughs> oh you suck <laughs> oh thanks joe <laughs> appreciate you Scarifying my house with me. Yeah, now I'll live there forever. Yep. Well, I'll just make a bed. <laughs> Stay here forever. Thanks, Joe. I don't. Re I wish I remember what the guy in the cask of Amontillado did, so I could be like, "That's what you get for insert punishment or, or insert uh, transgression here." <laughs> That's what you get for refer to page fifty-three. Yeah, it's like there's there's a joke here about the thing that the guy did that was bad. I'm unfamiliar with this. <laughs> Ninety percent of humor is being properly, uh, you know, having done your research. Yeah. Clearly, I have not. So. Nope. Oh, well. The story of my life, brother. Yeah. Let me see if I have any more bricks. I think I'm out. I'm out too. Okay. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. So should we sign off here? Or? I am signing off. Okay, until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. A generic B from the from the Casca Montelagio. A mom and you brah, your brother. Italian, you hey. eh? Hey. Jabroni. <laughs> See Don't get jabronis. They'll all show up. <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah, that went well.